So today we're back in the laser playground and we're gonna be launching tiny RC cars through a grid and also we're gonna be doing some downhill racing uh, over a laser obstacle course and it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. So be sure to stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Okay, before we jump cars through laser grids, I wanna test out this awesome downhill track and as you can see, there are a ton of laser traps here. I don't know if me and the AI are gonna be able to make it, but first person to cross the line is gonna be the winner. So yeah, pick which color you think is gonna win. Personally, I'm rooting for the Komodo gaming car, but I'm gonna be in the back with this blue car. Here we go, three, two, one, and we're off. Oh my goodness. Uh, we got some speedy cars here. Oh, they're, they're already getting sideways. Okay, uh, wait, they're actually making it over some of the laser traps. Okay, we gotta make one of these jumps. Oh, somebody just exploded up there. Holy man, that was cool. Uh-oh, uh, I think I just lost a tire. Oh, we're over the laser. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, we made it. Wait, did we really just pull off a... Hold on. We didn't pull off a victory. I think we just finished second. Did the Komodo gaming car actually win? <laughs> Hold the phone. Uh, I'm going to be really happy if that's what... Yes, it is. <laughs> so, that was probably the most chaotic downhill thing I've ever seen. Did you guys see all the explosions? A lot of cars went through the lasers. I say we rack them up again. Let's see if that's the favorite lane. So I'm not going to be the Komodo gaming car again. Uh, we'll pick another random one. But we finished second. That's pretty respectable, I say. Okay, so we're going to be in this car here. Let's see if the Komodo gaming car wins once again. Three, two, one. And we're off. Oh my goodness. One of them tried to go backwards. Uh, oh, this is fine. Okay, don't get too much air here. Okay, watch the Komodo gaming car. I'm going to use its lane real quick. Dude, that one jump is pretty smooth. Uh, oh my goodness, okay, Ooh, speed through. We might be able to beat it here. Oh, I think we launched too far. Wait, is it gonna land? We land it, oh, it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be close. Um, we're skidding, no! We're spinning out, get to the line, get to the line, get to the line. Wait, who won there? That was so close. Did we win or did the Komodo Gaming car win? Editor, give me a slow-mo replay there. Um, you guys be the judge. From what I could tell, I couldn't, like I, think maybe we crossed but I could be wrong so it does seem like that right lane is kind of the favorite I do want to do another downhill map uh, with maybe some more lasers let's try it one last time okay we're gonna start in the middle here uh, the orange car last time the one in front of this one uh, backed up I don't know what was going on there but we're about to see if it does it again three two one and we're off okay it didn't do it that time that's good Okay, so is the Komodo Gaming car gonna go for three? I mean, it might not have won the last race. I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna take the middle lane here. Uh, there is so much death and destruction on this. Uh, it is absolutely glorious. Oh my goodness, I ran in the back of that one. Oh, can we still clear the lasers? Uh, oh, we got past that one. The Komodo Gaming car looks like it's gonna win once again. Oh, somebody just jumped over me and it's pure chaos here. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do another downhill mayhem map and I would love to see some more laser traps. That creates probably the most chaotic racing I've ever seen. But we do have a favorite lane. So if we come back to this, if you guys maybe want to see some random parts racing, we might have to nerf uh, this lane here. I don't know. There might be a chance that you just get bad cars in that lane. But uh, not going to lie, we should have tested this out last episode. So what are we going to do with the, uh, the Victor here, the Komodo gaming machine? Well, I got a plan. So we uh, also have something else we didn't check out last episode. There's these laser drops. Um, we're gonna drop the Komodo gaming car into there. Uh, congratulations, buddy, you have won. And here it goes. Oh, and slice. Oh, there it is. Yep, that's what the victor gets. Oh, uh, what do you say we go jump through a little laser grid? Okay, folks, I'm really excited about this one. So this is a tiny laser grid. Uh, I think it might be a little deceiving as far as how big these are. Like, it looks like you won't be able to fit any cars through here. But uh, we're going to run a control test with the default D-Series here. A uh, lovely car, or lovely truck, I should say. Don't think it's going to make it through this grid. But I have a couple ideas for vehicles that might make it. Uh, watch this make it on the first attempt here. This might just completely foil my plan. Uh, oh, my good. You know, it's close. I think if I would have let off a little bit there, we totally could have made it. All right, let's try it again. Okay, remember to lift a little bit on the tail end here. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. That is such a beautiful sight. All right, wait for it, wait for it. And all right, letting off. 
Oh my goodness, we still clipped it. It's so close on this D series. Uh, I do think if you hit it perfect, it probably can make it. But you know what? I've got other vehicles I want to try out here. So a lot of people wanted to see me run a tiny RC car through there. I wasn't even sure this mod still worked. We haven't actually used this in forever. Okay, so we're going to gas it up. Going to try to keep it attached here. Uh, this thing has a very limited top speed. Uh, we might have to try maybe a different version of this. But as far as the size, there's no way this doesn't make it through the grid. Uh, question is, can it make it to it, though? Like, it can make it through it, but can you make it to it? Oh my goodness. Nope. <laughs> we hit the bottom laser. Okay, so we need a faster RC car here. Okay, going through all of them. There's a stadium truck. I feel like that could be fast. The muscle could be a fast one. Do you have a race buggy? Uh, let's try maybe that. Uh, we got a little bit more speed here. Uh, man, you know, I would love to see another RC mod. I'm kind of surprised I didn't have thing here in Beam. Uh, this one's so good, but it is really old. Like, I can only imagine with some of the new techniques that people have learned and kind of done. Uh, I feel like a new RC mod would be great. All right, here we go. Come on, just make it through. I need more speed. Oh, that just... They're not capable of actually clearing the jump. I'm actually disappointed. I thought these would be great. Uh, I'm going to try one more. Maybe we could find a little more speed. Uh, stadium truck. Maybe that's the fastest one. I mean, I kind of feel like the muscle car should be fast, right? Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, that's got a lot more wheel spin. But I think ultimately the electric motor just kind of tops out right around the same. That's what's disappointing. Oh, we might be going faster. Oh, come on. You can hear it sliding. It's just the uphill here that we're going to lose speed on. Question is how much speed? Oh, come on. Come on. I thought there for a second we had made it through. That is impossible. Uh, I think you just need a different... Wait, we can't adjust anything. I'm going to look at a couple of things. Is there any tuning options for this? Yeah, really the only thing we can adjust is the ride height, the springs. Uh, I don't know if there is a stage one upgrade. Oh, there's a stage four upgrade. Wait, how much power is that? It's got to be a lot, right? Hold on. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, I think we can make it with the stage four upgrade. You know, I've never really played with these. Uh, so we have an upgraded RC car here. Come on. You can make it through this laser grid now, right? Oh my goodness, look at the speed. Oh, this is just what we needed. All right, here we go. Through the grid. No! Oh! So we don't have enough speed to make it to the top one, so we're gonna have to let off a slight bit. We're gonna make it through this, folks. Uh, this is gonna be a thing. All right, here we go. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna do a downhill race with these things again, uh, now that I know we have a stage four. How did it take me that long to figure that out? Jeez, I just hit it again. It's hard to control. I don't know if the AI would be able to handle this either. Uh, these are some zippy boys, but we might have to do an RC race again. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, it's bouncing. Okay, gassing. Here we go. It's just sideways. It's so hard to control now. But, no! Oh, I'm salty. All right, I think I might have to speed here. And oh my goodness, there it goes! Oh, that is absolutely awesome. You know, this RC car also survives uh, falls from a really high uh, height uh, really well, especially when you don't have a laser cutting its wheels off. So we proved that the RC car can make it. Obviously, size wasn't a really a problem. It was just finding that speed there. Uh, also, we need to totally do another RC video. All right, so I had a lot of people say, Komodo, you should do this with the Agent Y uh, toy building car, which... Uh, <laughs> This is going to be a mistake, but it's going to look cool going through the laser grid. Uh, oh my goodness, I am sliding. I can't even hit the gas. All right, hit the gas now. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think it exploded. Okay, aim for the grid. No. Oh yeah, that is... Okay, not going to lie, that might be the most satisfying vehicle to go through the grid. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this in this car. Uh, the car's wheels uh, do lack a little bit of grip, and you get a little bit of a bounce. Hold on, let's just let it roll. Okay, what if I just rolled it through it? This thing picks up a lot of really good speed by itself. Uh, oh my goodness, I think it's... You know what? I actually think it's too big. Like, I think you're going to have to hit it at the perfect angle, and the vehicle cannot uh, go to the side while in air. Like, you need it to stay straight, which I'm not really sure you can do that. All right, let's give it one more try here. Come on. Okay, I need to aim to the left because I typically drift to the right, and then this time I drift to the left. Oh my goodness, nothing makes sense. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's just going to be hard mode there. Uh, Lego car versus lasers, probably not a great idea. 
You know what's bad is? Uh, the other thing you guys were suggesting was the monster truck. There's no way. It doesn't fit through here. And now it might fit through the other stunt ramp, but just for the satisfaction of doing it, we're gonna grab it. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Uh, you know, these things surprisingly aren't the greatest over big ramps like this because of the speed uh, limitations. It tops out really quick. Uh, it's just the way they are. Like, they're realistic monster trucks. And Oh, my good. Yep. I just, there's no way. It's just too big. Now, there is another question. We did complete this stunt last time. Do we think it's too big for the, like, arch laser jump? Um, it's got to be. Yeah, there's no way. Like, if it isn't, it's got to be perfect. I wonder if the RC can make it through that. Obviously, from a size standpoint, yes, but a speed? Uh, I'd be curious. All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. It's so, it's so steep. Okay. Oh, we landed it. Gas it up. And... Oh, my goodness. Wait. You know, if it had more speed and if I hit that perfect, I kind of feel like this truck would actually fit. Uh, all right, here we go. Come on, baby. We got this. We got this. All right, it's going to lift a little bit. All right, here we go. Gassing it. Oh, my goodness. We just can't clear it. It blows up before we can clear it. Uh, you know, I'd actually like to see, like, an unrealistic version of the monster truck. Maybe something with, like, a ridiculous motor. Maybe the gearing. I mean, there might even be a chance that we could tune it and just maybe gear it out more uh, to allow it to pick up that speed without blowing up the engine, but... Uh, we'll have to put it away for now. Okay, so we're going to use this stadium truck version of the RC car. We're going to give it the same upgrade with the uh, uh, the Stage 4, which should give it enough speed. I don't know if there's really much we can do with the wheels. Is there like... Oh, there's uh, grip wheels. Maybe we should change the wheels to grip wheels. Uh, all right, so let's go grip wheels there, grip wheels there. There we go. All right, do we have something that's going to make it? Dude. That actually is really good. Oh my goodness. You know, I think the last time I covered this, I didn't really go in and play with the parts a lot on this game. But now that you can do this, like, this is actually decent going downhill. Uh, it is sliding a little bit, but on aim for the center, gas it. Oh, <laughs> it's not even close. I was hoping that stage four would give this thing enough speed to be able to get through those. And uh, no, that's definitely not a thing. Wow. So another suggestion you guys had was to run the stock car through there. Um, we're going to attempt this. Oh, uh, this is going to be beautiful. All right, here we go. It's pulling to the left. I think I got one of the ones that's set up for an oval. Uh, oh, it loses tons of grip. Come on. No, get it back. Get it back. Here we go. Okay, gas it. And oh, my goodness. No. Nope. It's so hard, and it, it's a part of the challenge is that the ramp is steep, so you lose grip. Uh, there's not, I mean, there's a decent amount of downforce on this vehicle, but it's still, oh my goodness, that's what's left of it. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's got a big spoiler on it. You figured it maybe it'd grip a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to try a different approach here. We're going to roll off the top, and then as soon as I think I can mash it, I just got to keep the tires in contact and don't let it get sideways. See, it's trying to get sideways right now. It even lifts just at that speed. Okay, here we go. I'm gassing all the way. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, we made it to the first. Wait. what? Did, did we touch the first? That is so close. You know, we were using, I think, supercars last time to actually make it through that. If I could just get to the gas a little sooner. Okay, I'm going to keep a little more throttle in it here. Uh, I know we're going to lift slightly right here car gets really light okay i'm gonna gas up oh that might be it and okay there's one oh we actually over jumped it that time oh you know i still feel like it's too heavy and it's not gonna make it to the other ramp like the other cars that we've used but i feel like he could get through the laser grids okay so we need a split second later this time because we actually hit the tops of them okay uh, oh my goodness, I hope this holds together. Here we go, and there's one. Hit the brakes. Just, oh, we can't get past two. I'm actually, I caught a little too much air there. Okay, wait a little longer this time. Okay, now gas it. There we go. Okay, I'm not even paying attention to my speed because, uh, yeah, I'm just like so focused forward. There's one, two, three. 
Uh, we cleared three. We died on the fourth. So if we had like one or two miles per hour more, I think we'd have made it through all of them. There's just no way unless I go into the world editor and, and shorten the ramp. I mean, I, I could move it a little bit. No, no, no. We're not going to move it. That's not in the spirit of the challenge. Okay, here we go. One more attempt. Okay, hit the brakes. One, two, three, four. Oh, we barely clipped the last one again. Man, we keep hitting the pole. Like, I feel like this is so possible. It's just finding the perfect speed, which I should probably pay attention to my exit speeds. Uh, I'm going to try to make it a point to look at the, uh, the speedometer here. Oh, we got sideways. That's not good. Okay, we're going to release right around the 130-ish area. Oh, I'm sideways. Sideways, but I clipped it. Ugh. Maybe it's this paint scheme. If, if I recall right, uh, Johnson really, really struggled in this paint scheme. Huh? Let's, is this the white one here? Oh, well, it's the silver one. It's the one he retired in. Uh, maybe we should find a different vehicle. Here we go. We'll use Chase. Uh, he won the championship, I think, in this paint scheme. So here we go. Uh, we're going to win here by flying through uh, the laser grid. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yep, first thing I do is I get sideways. Okay, we've gassed back up and hit the brakes. I need to dive the nose. Oh, yes, we cleared them. Uh, but we were short of the ramp. I, I think the weight of the stock car really catches up there at the tail end of that jump because it drops so hard but you know what we made it through all four of those lasers so i'm gonna consider that a win that and the whole fact i mean it is it's completely destroyed but i mean we didn't like blow the car up that time so that's good okay last but not least i'm gonna run this on the obstacle here let's see if we can do this okay gas it up okay, go with the first one. Oh, yep dude this thing lands actually fairly well like, I know this in real life would not love jumps, but, I mean, in BeamNG, this thing is a champion here, and... Oh, land it! Oh, only the rear bumper popped off. Or the cover. Yeah, we got a little damage. I think the, the frame is definitely bent because the wheels are no longer even, but uh, we did the thing there. 